Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can find the, the CDS views or the select queries behind a very particular transactions like any transaction like FBL1H, FBL5H, all these transaction code. Because based on that, you can build your ABAP program if required and improve or create a CDS view again. So first we'll go to FBL1H. And if I go execute, and I'll just execute for this, okay? Now, there probably is a requirement to, to uh, capture data from this particular uh, transaction code or report and merge it with other stuffs, okay? So let me go. I think there's no data in this. We'll just run it for all items, okay? And we'll see whether we have some data. So if I go all items, so once this shows up, here also we are not getting any data, but once we get some data, we can see, but here you can see the queries, the like display select statement, and from here you can find out what it is basically doing. So if you notice, this is the CD pause, it's going here so this is the this is the particular cds view that is doing everything in this uh, in this particular report so if i go here i'll just close this okay and if i want i can make it bigger okay and i'll go to the other uh, other place so if i close this now and if i go to sc16 and probably and if I go here, I put this, I'll get all the CDS view. So this is the main CDS view behind all this, behind this transaction code. So this will be very helpful. So in this way, you can find what is the CDS view between FBL in FBL1H and FBL5H also.